This show is brought to you by Love and Kizomba Necklace. Hi, this is Jay and you're watching the Kizomba Point of View, where we just talk about different topics that are important for the Kizomba scene. Sitting here with Rowan, Wayoni and Lara, and we're going to answer some Kizomba questions today. Okay, so Wayoni, why do you love Kizomba? I love Kisoma because it takes my mind off work, everyday life. The whole scene is just to me relaxing and having fun with my friends. All while having great dances. Well, most great dances then. Mm -hmm. Lara, would you add something to that? Uh, yeah, it can definitely take your mind off because, um, you know, dancing is a physical activity, so it releases all kinds of great hormones. Um, but it's also, it has like a social aspect, right? So right, you yeah. get like uh, uh, all the positive feelings of spending time with your friends. And, mm -hmm. and you can get into flow, right? And that's always uh, like a state of mind that can bring happiness and sure. relaxation to you. Sure. So why do you love Kizomba Rowan? I think besides the way of dancing, it's also a way to connect with the people. You get to see people from abroad, like all over the world. And also, yeah, the, the relaxing part is very good. Yeah. So what would you say was your, do you remember your first Kizomba dance? It was like <laughs> five years ago. And my first dance was quite miserable, actually, because the guy stepped on my feet like six times. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a quite remarkable dance. You but you, st you yeah. stuck with it. I stuck with it. He <laughs> didn't, I guess, but I did. <laughs> Be happy. We don't want like, okay. No. <laughs> okay, next question. <laughs> well, Yoni, do you remember your first Kizomba dance? Uh, yes, actually. I remember because it's like, he, he's still like one of my friends. Um, I remember there was this was at this mix party, and we were just frustrated with not being able to follow um, because our like yeah classmates or like students um, they never practice. So in class we mm. just felt like okay maybe this is not for us. And then we had like this weekly social with like more Latin influence, like sal salsa and bachata. And then he taught us like, no, just follow me, just relax, close your eyes, and then you can just follow the steps. Mm -hmm. He didn't grow though after so many years. He's still doing the same steps, but it was mm -hmm. fine for the first dance. <laughs> wow, Lara, do you remember your first kiss on the dance? I'm not sure. Uh, I think. Well, I was learning a whole bunch of other dances at the time, and then I just. You know, they said, you know, it was a, like an open class for, for Kizomba dance. Yeah. I hadn't really heard of Kizomba before, but I'm just well, checking it out. Yeah, dancing is super nice. Um, and so I showed up and then it's like, oh, it's an African dance. I hadn't done that before. Yeah. Uh, it was mostly Latin dancing that I'd done. And uh, so I think my first dance was probably with the teacher trying to, uh, you know, just get the basics right and the basics of following and so I just followed her steps and just walked around her. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, the actual real dance like on the social floor was um, with a very nice gentleman who showed up for the social after the class and I just had my first class. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. And wow. so, um, you know, he was a very good lead and everything but when he tried the Saida, I had no idea. What's happening? <laughs> Where am I going? Yeah. <laughs> And he's like, don't you feel it? I'm like, what is it? I'm supposed to feel it. I just had my first class. Yeah. yeah. Just. Uh, yeah. So the men say there's no problem because you don't have to do anything. But the ladies say that there's like a whole yeah. stuff that's mm. going on that you have to do that I just didn't know. Yeah. You have to walk, actually. <laughs> yeah. But it didn't scare me off. So what would you say is the hardest thing about Kizomba? Um, sometimes it could be the connection. Uh, um, and people feeling like they are way better than the partner that they have at that moment. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes the music, sometimes you're just not feeling it, um, sometimes you're tired. So it's not the dance or the music, um, but more like just your vibe at that specific moment. Because some nights I have like lots of fun, same party maybe a week later. Terrible just wanting to go home so yeah it's it's kind of hard to answer that with just one sentence well, i think think you did a pretty well job elaborating that but would you girls want to add something to this the hardest thing i think if i'm at home 
and I have to go to the party. That's for me, like, the part, like, and I really want to go to another really? party, you know? Yeah. Wow. Like, the dressing up. And if I'm there, I'm like, okay. No, most, yeah. like, lots of parties, people just wear basic. That's true. So, you can still wear pajamas yeah, and still, still clothes. Yeah, it's yeah, like, like that. I'm, I'm doing Netflix now, and I have to go outside, you know? That's like... Mm. Or you can watch yeah. Netflix while waiting for them. <laughs> I did once. Really? No, I was playing. No, I was playing Candy Crush actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, not a, it was not a good night. I was like, not feeling it. Nope, mm -hmm. just continuing. When I listen to you talk, it sounds like sometimes uh, you think that the social aspect can be actually quite difficult because yeah, you never know when you're gonna meet people that mm -hmm. you're going to like, and uh, when you dance with someone, you you know, it's not like a it's. It's not like, you know, you're close to the person, mm. so if that person makes you uncomfortable, then you're not going to be able to, you know, uh, concentrate on the dance or anything. Yeah. And then you might actually have a bad evening, like you said. So I guess, I guess that's, that's difficult for me as well, because, yeah, mm. sometimes you wonder, you know, you go there. Am I really going again, you know? But I don't have yeah. the again part. I have it like, okay, there's the evening. The music sometimes sucks, you know, when they keep playing that sleepy music mm -hmm. in the middle of the night, you know, like normally you have like, you're with your friends, pre-partying, mm -hmm. and then, okay, you arrive and it's just sleepy music for half an hour. So My you, vibe is completely done. So it would be like the, the kind of music and, and if it ma doesn't match the stage you're in, yeah, that would like, be the hardest. Just different influence that can make or break the night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's so interesting that nobody really mentioned anything about the dance itself, yeah. like technique yeah. or anything. Yeah. <laughs> I did notice that. I was I was actually curious of where you when you would bring that up. But no, it, but I feel like I, I feel like the whole the whole thing about Kisoma it's mm -hmm. not just focusing on steps. Uh, mm -hmm. like, well, for some people it is, but it's more the feeling like you get from the dance, like just the overall scene. So mm -hmm. yeah, there are more aspects than just actually dancing with mm -hmm. with a partner there's more to that so when do you enjoy dancing kizoma the most then i would ask uh, rowan this question the most yeah. if i see the lineup is good <laughs> yeah start, then I'm not you mean like the artists who, yeah, who the come. artist who's performing and i think yeah. it's also the company if you're in good company it's also a good party most of the time uh -huh. and the floor is when the floors are good that's yeah. a really yeah. good aspect <laughs> Okay, okay. A good floor, that's like a necessity. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that can make or break everything. All right, no all right. music boxes in the music hall. Oh, really? Urban Kiss, what's your opinion about it? The thing is, I like all um, kinds of, all types of Kiss on that. Um, so for me personally, it really doesn't matter what's played. It just, mm -hmm. if the vibe in the Kiss on the room is just like if i'm attracted to that more that evening i will spend the entire evening in that room mm -hmm. um if it's the urban kids room same thing goes it, it depends on the festival depends on the people that are visiting it depends mm -hmm. on the djs that are mixing but really i am yeah. so so you wouldn't say that urban kids it has to be urban kids or no or it, for you it's about the vibe that mm -hmm. you have at that time and then yeah, well, actually they're like some Urban kids songs are like, oh, I need to dance this. But the same thing goes for like the really fast samba songs. Those are like my whole love. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> like that would be like the perfect moment, and then with the perfect partner who actually also, you know, because sometimes you have like these guys that they dance samba, but because they have to, mm -hmm. and then you have other guys that like they love. Their, they love it. Lara, would you add something to this about the whole urban kids uh, style? I personally, when I go to a party, I really prefer like a, a nice mix yeah. between samba, the traditional kizamba, and uh, then any kind of the new styles. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but what I think about it is like a different question, right? Whether you enjoy dancing something, what you think about it is like slightly different mm -hmm. because I know that, you know, sometimes there's a lot of controversy going on or there was like a, a little bit of a, a, yeah, some dissonance about they have like two camps sometimes that yeah, some people are like yay to Kizomba, camps, no, or, urban gears and the other yeah, way around. I yeah. Don't, yeah, I'm not, I, I like all of the dances, mm -hmm. but I can understand that um, yeah, for us dancing is, uh, I, I learned it, it's not part of my cultural identity, right? Yeah. But if it yeah. is part of your cultural identity, then I can sometimes understand it. 
yeah. uh, you know, you have a slightly different view. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Rowan, about the urban case, what do you think about it? What I think about it, I think it's a good influence. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, the more styles you have, the more you can interact with also different people. Because uh, there are like now two camps like Semba, Kizomba and Urban Kiss and Tarasha. So mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's kind of strange that you have two camps, but it's also quite okay because you have like preferences and I don't have any preferences. If I'm in the mood for like a Semba dance, I will go. If I'm too hot, like I'm sweating, I will cool down first no, and go back. No <laughs> cooling down, just continue with the song. Sorry. If the <laughs> sweat, really? If the song is right, yes. With the right partner, then I have to yes. agree. Yeah. So I, I find it funny that when I hear your girls talk, um, for you, you don't really see it as, as something that's totally different and it's separate, but as it's like all part of the of one spectrum and you can select your flavor at that time and you can yes. enjoy mm -hmm. all of it. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for watching the Kisamba point of view. If you would like to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe to the Kisamba channel because we'll be back with some more Kisamba.